All right, hello, hello, hello to all of the cancers out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in July. All right, we just got out of cancer season, so how could I forget that? But if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if the reading does not resonate with your situation, check your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you would like a personal reading, the link will be posted in the description box below this video. All right. Okay. So some of you may be dealing with a Pisces or a Virgo, Aquarius energy is here. Leo's energy is here. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Wands as your challenge. All right. So, I feel like Leo's energy is here uh, again. But I feel like in the past cancers, you were feeling like you were in the dark about this situation. Okay. No, something came to light for you, okay? Something about your worth, your value, what you bring to the table. I don't know why I'm getting like, you and your person may have been on two different pages. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo or a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius, okay? And it's like, It's like you wanted this person to see your worth and your value. You you try you may have tried to, to stabilize this union in the past. For some of you, you may be connected to someone through work or for financial reasons. But I feel like you and this person may be going in two different directions. They may not this person may not be taking action towards you at this time. We're gonna clarify and see why these are in a um why this card is in a reverse? Why is this hermit card in a reverse? I usually do clarifications last, but in order to make the story or the reading come come out the right way, I have to clarify this now. So there, there won't be any confusion. Why is this hermit card here for cancer? Hermit card for cancer. So there was some communication in the past that took place. Some, okay. I'm getting like someone here. I feel like you were you were unsure about the future of a relationship in the past. You wanted someone to see your worth, your value, what you brought to the table. This could be someone that you're married to because you and this person were or in some type of long-term commitment with because you and this person were going in two different directions. You were on two different pages. You tried to have a conversation with this person about something here that's lacking. This could be a lack of communication, a lack of emotion. Um, with this king of wands in a reverse, this could be a lack of passion, but there's something in this union that's lacking. And you try to discuss this with this person, but I feel like your person was maybe emotionally closed off. Not really letting you in, not showing you their true feelings. Could be a Virgo or a Gemini. Okay, this person may be wearing a mask and need to take their mask off. Okay. So that's what I'm getting. There was some type of secret or emotion being held regarding a lack of communication, a lack of sex, a lack of emotion. Something in this union was um, lacking and it caused you to doubt the relationship because your person, I feel like your person was wearing a mask. So right now, 
things may be stuck between you and this person. Could be a Pisces or a Gemini. Just not moving forward. Someone here could be experiencing some type of financial hardship with this Pisces hangman card. There's money falling out the pocket, it looked like. Something here is unraveling. Okay? And I feel like someone here needs... There's a decision that needs to be made. It's like, are we going to start over? Or are we going to go our separate ways? That's what I'm getting. Because something right here in this union is just not moving. It's like you had this conversation in the past. Okay? And I feel like nothing changed. Like things did not change. It's like this person may, you may be feeling like this person is breadcrumbing you. There could be children involved, but let's see. What is this? Okay. Why is the hangman card here? Yeah, we have commitment coming out in a reverse, contracts in a reverse. So again, someone here is married or in some type of long-term commitment. The relationship has come to a peak or has come to a head and is not moving forward anymore. But someone here is not willing to take the leap of faith to go into another direction. So they may, this person may be having you or keeping you in some type of third party situation is what I'm getting. It's like they don't want to leave you, but they don't want to walk away. So they um, keep you in a third party situation or they are deceptive or they are sneaky or something and they are breadcrumbing you so the decision what is this decision with this lover's card there's a decision here and see your intuition your intuition is telling you to stay present your intuition is telling you something is going on so you may get clarity that this person is dealing with someone else during the, the fall season. You may get clarity that this person reunited with someone. Like they have some type of soul tie with someone else. Yeah, it's like your, your intuition is at a high um, frequency, vibrating at a high frequency now. And it's telling you that this person reunited or reconnected with someone. And I feel like there's a strong bond or some type of structured relationship or something that's being formed. Or you're feeling like you and this person have a strong foundation. But there's definitely like arguing, fussing, and fighting going on with the challenge being the five of wands. There's arguing, fussing, and fighting going on pertaining to deceptive energy, sneaky energy. I feel like in the near future, with the star card, Aquarius energy is here and Leo's energy is here. I feel like you are going to try to heal this situation. I see you wanting to work on things, hoping that things get better between you and two, but I feel like you just feel like you're at war with this person. It's like you feel defeated and you're trying to be strong, but all you could do in the near future is tame your energy or withhold or pull back from this person because there's continuous arguing, fussing, and fighting going on. So your person, you want to heal this situation and hope that things get better, but your person is detached, okay? So I feel like that's what part of the reason that you and this person are arguing and fighting because, again, this lack thereof, whether it's sex, whether it's emotion, whether it's um, communication, is causing you to become detached and cold. Okay, and with this twin flame, you and this person could be mirroring each other's energy because there are limitations in this union. Because someone here is operating out of fear, they're not being someone here is your person is not being honest with themselves, they're avoiding a conversation, they're avoiding telling you that a cycle or this union may have come to an, a completion. Okay, see change. With the butterfly over the mouth, this person is avoiding telling you that they want some type of change 
or they this um the um, relationship has come to an end or something like that. They're not saying anything. Let's see, why is received here? They have to be open to receive or to listen to, to the, yeah, to face their truth. This person is living a lie. This person is needing to express that they want to be free, but they're not. They're not facing their truth. And they're wearing, they need to take that mask off. They're wearing a mask. They're not being honest with themselves. I'm going to leave it at that, Cancers. Let me know in the comment section below if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe if it resonates. Um, or if you just want to show some support, okay? But be blessed. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you next time. Peace.